What's up guys, Macko Michael's out here. So let's take a look and see what he's got today. You guys, come on. Got your new helper with you, huh? Yeah, she's riding around with me today. <laughs> helper or boss? There you go. Boss. <laughs> Ask me next week. Well, that's what uh, you know. Everybody says, you know, they talk about I wear the pants of my family, blah blah blah. Yeah, I do too. But after she picks them out and irons them, and <laughs> says this what you're wearing today? That's that's how it works in my house. There you go. Got anything new today? Uh, new to the truck. I don't have anything new new. Um, we got a sales meeting coming up tomorrow, actually. I'm gonna try to get something new in here. Um, no wait to order it. But this is something new to the truck. I haven't had an extended cutoff on the truck. Right. These went into the sales flyer in my region this week or last week. One of the two. Anyways, I ordered it. Um, I know a lot of people have seen the monster ones out there. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, our version of it. So I like it. I like it because you can cut it up and down, low to high on yeah. top of it. Of course, you get that extended reach. I don't know how many people's actually going to leave that on. I know we're supposed to uh, take that away. Mm -hmm. You know, that needs to stay on, right? Um, but yeah, I like it. Uh, I've got an air cat one. It's like that, that long one. Yeah. Man, that thing is a beast, man. I can't, I can't tell you how many times it would have actually helped me to have one of these, and I never, mm -hmm. never had one, but I can guarantee you that it's on my wish list now. That one horsepower is nice, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I'd ever even saw them <coughs> when I was, when I was working, which, if I had to have a cutoff wheel, something went way wrong. Uh -huh. um, but that happens every day, right? exhaust and stuff like that so yep. but i don't know as far as if it would be more helpful in the probably auto body or something like that mm -hmm. but we were doing frame jobs and stuff like that they were real popular when i was working at toyota we had the tacomas that had frame jobs and we had the tundras that had frame jobs so that would really helped with several aspects yeah. speed that job up it was already a nightmare because it was covered in rust and then some people they look like they drove through a bath of concrete, but either way, <laughs> yeah. that's either true. Way, it would have always been helpful to have something like that. So we got that on the truck, and uh, like I said, we got that. So yeah, I think the new ratchets is going. The long necks are going to come. They're going to be there. That's yeah. that's what I'm going to try to have next week. Be um, cool. They're going to have to because of the whole coronavirus situation. Instead of going and actually sitting down at our meetings. Uh, we have to do it over the computer now, so it'll have to be shipped to us, but I'm hoping that the order will go in probably Monday afternoon, mm -hmm. and then hopefully by Friday I'll have cool. the long neck ratchets. But yeah, they, several dealers have already got them, some dealers don't. Uh, I'm gonna order me some and, and have them on the truck. Had a lot more interest in ratchets over the last couple of weeks electric ratchets, electric guns, stuff like that, so. Well, I definitely think they'll go good, because, man, that's, they're nice to have. Oh, yeah, electric ratchet is, if you're any type of commission person, electric's where to go. Yeah. I mean, I know air's good, but Dragon Air Hose does get old. But now, there is still techs out there that's strictly air. Yeah. We've talked about that in other videos. Like, if I work in a shop on a lift all the time, you know, I'd yep. use an air impact probably more than, than I do now. You know? Well, I actually had a, um, he works on heavy equipment. He owns his own business doing it, but he works out of a service truck almost all the time. And when I first started going there, he was strictly air. Right. I mean, that's all he was. And we had the conversation one day of, you know, have you ever thought about going electric? Yeah, I just don't think the batteries can hold up. And so we finally got him into some electric tools and now he's swapped totally he's no air yeah. he told us yesterday he's like i don't even use air anymore 
he just didn't know how well the batteries have been made now the, you know used to with the old drills and the old batteries you had an hour tops with a battery i mean some of these batteries now are lasting two to three days so it's true electric's come a long way well i can't believe that blue box is still on here a lot of interest um it's just the time we're in right now they gotta think about it <laughs> yeah. i understand that i don't expect it to be much longer we we've, we've got that uh, we're doing our own contests as far as uh, it's just you know we're doing apps for caps still. Yeah. So if they fill out an application, they get a free hat. So I had a lot of people doing that. A lot of people scratching their head, thinking you know. Uh, I had a lot of people send me pictures of their box, want me to see what I can give them. So right. we're working deals on it, but maybe it'll go to a good home because it's yeah, a nice yeah, one. We'll just use it for storage. We got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Socks. It's socks nice. Shirts. That right there is what's nice. Yeah, this top drawer, I, that's the seller. I'm always, I've always picked one box and said if it don't sell within this so long, that that was gonna be my box. I think that's gonna be the next one. Okay. Well, you'll sell it today then, because well, every time, every time you say that, you sell it. So. Oh, I'm good with that. I'm good either way. But I'd actually like to have it and that. Like if I was to own my own shop or be back in the shop again, I always worked out of a, a, a stationary box. But if I did it again, I'd have a stationary box and a road cart too. Yeah, that's the way to go right there. Cause man, it sucks walking back and forth. Yeah, I I worked in the dealership to where it was right in front of my my, my bay. So I always told myself it wasn't that much of a walk. But man, if I could roll that thing around with me, ride that next to the car or something, yeah. it would have been so easy. Well, you got a good matching set right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice car. That's what you need to do, Bill. Just convert to blue. Mm -hmm. that and car, then if they ever come out with blue ratchets, you have a ratchet to match. Boy, did we not have a lot of support for blue ratchets. I have never <laughs> seen that much support. We did a uh, trade up, trade out uh, post. Uh, yesterday or the day before and somebody commented they need a blue ratchet and I was like yeah <laughs> you I was reading through, from, you? yeah I was reading through the comments uh Saturday or Sunday or something it was blue ratchet blue ratchet blue ratchet yeah. and I thought to myself I was like you know what I might not have should have said Todd, Todd Berry's name oh well <laughs> I just think how much cooler that'll look with some blue ratchets oh it would definitely look cool I get it maybe somebody will somebody will get the message we'll see well, we got blue flashlights, we got blue toolboxes, so maybe. Well, I gotta give y'all credit on that. You know, I bought that 12 volt from Hamilton that somebody yeah. traded in. I like that little dude. So, I used it twice, I like it. Yeah, the 12 volt for a quarter inch 12 volt, it is perfect. That's Shiny something else. Too. Yeah, that's something else. If you ain't got a quarter inch impact, you're missing out. Okay. Like, I know most people use 3 8. I didn't ever think I'd use one that much, but I do. Valve covers, you know, um, Air boxes, hoses, hoses. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just interior work. Like, dashes and stuff like that. Uh, my Toyota fans know that we had a dash recall, that we were replacing dashes and Siennas and Forerunners and Camrys and Avalons. Right. And, man, if you didn't have a, an impact, that two-hour job would take you two and a half, three. You, especially on some of the ones that were already sticky and stuff. You were already, everything you touched, you were getting dirt and grit. And, some of them come in with look like 10 year old flies you know it was it was terrible so you wanted to get that old one out as quick as possible and we also had an airbag recall the Takata airbag it was so easy to take one of those quarter inches and just pull those bolts out just pull that airbag out right. do the little surgery put it back in which you know a lot of people want to say well there's torque specs i understand when you go back if you want to torque it going back but coming out the torque spec doesn't matter yeah, just yeah. pull that some gun yeah. out let's go zipper out of there so yeah those i really like i think Micah really stepped up and got in the game as far as electrical tools which you know i've got the snap-on version it's like the ct761 yeah. but it's almost the same size as the 3 8 in that Mecca was way smaller. Yeah. So for a while, um, we were out of the game. We just, we wasn't there with our electric, but I think we stepped up. I think we've got there. 
guess my nine was one. Yeah, like we, we're continuously improving, but hey, if we can brag on the stuff that we did good, that's great. That's true. Well, I mean, that's the only way you know how to fix it. Mm. You know, if it yeah. ain't working right, you know, that's the way to make it better. So. Yeah, I, you know, I still see comments here or there about the drill bits, they suck or whatever. I, I just don't understand that. Like any constructive criticism on those, I'll take, but like I don't see much criticism Man, on they them. They don't suck at all. Them drill bits are they're awesome. Yeah. Like, they really are. Yeah. Like I understand that there's probably some specialty machinist made drill bits that are better. But for the average guy that needs a full set like yeah. those that does what we do, they're perfect. You know, they're they're and I'll be honest with you, the cobalts you know, if I didn't already own the hyperstep, yeah. So there's that, no way I would take the jump into, hey, I'm going to ditch these hypersteps and go with the new cobalt. So there's no way I do that. See, and here, here's the deal about that. When they first come out, that was my question: is all the people I've already sold the hypersteps to, how am I going to sell the cobalt? The cobalt. Um, but when you watch the video, they have their own strengths, but they're all yeah. right there close. Um, I like both. I have a lot of people that doesn't have the hyper step and they want to go ahead and go with the cobalt. Right. I understand it. I mean, they're, they're good. I would too, you know, if, especially if they had them in the larger set where you get well, the Well, they're, they're working on that. They're working on the larger set. Um, and I have saw several interesting, uh, I guess, theories at this point of why the actual hyper step part is shorter on the cobalts. Uh, I'm looking forward to finding out really why they're they're shorter. I think it's because it's so hard. I think it's more brittle. Yeah, I, I've heard that, and then I've heard that they're 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 made for to be like in drill presses and stuff. I've yeah. heard several different reasons, and hey, they're all they're all possibilities, but they're both really good drill bits. You're not gonna go wrong with either one. No, no you're not. But, I mean, it just seems like the harder the metal, the cobalt does a lot better yeah. job. Well, and see, that's the thing, I, and that's what they told us when they come out with them. They said, this is for your, this this to keep from the bluing and all that of the drill bits. Because the hyper steps, if you get to going too fast or in too hard of metal, they will start turning blue on the end. They right. said so the cobalts are made for harder metal, so they won't do that blooming. So it really depends on the application that you're going to yeah. use them on. Like there's everything that we've really drilled, the hyper steps have been perfect. Yeah. You know? Well, that's the thing. There's not a whole lot of stuff in the automotive world that's going to cause that. Right. So the cobalts are designed for metals that really not a whole lot in them. I mean, it is and it ain't, you know. But hey, some other guys that's using drill presses all the time, those cobalts are probably great. Right. But I will say, it. you know, on the comment as far as. Um, I don't forget what it looks like now. Um, oh, there might be better drill bits. I bet they're going to cost a lot more. Oh, I guarantee you. If they're better than the hyper steps, they're probably a whole lot more. I saw somebody say that um, on one of the, on the video where you did the test, somebody said something about the there were some Walmart bits or something that was better. I'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah those, I think they call them, what is it, hyper tough bits. Yeah, yeah. hyper tough. I'd like to see that. I That's, would see. If they're better than them, I definitely want to see them. I, I don't believe that. You know, I like, feel like some people... I am all about testing stuff, but I would not waste my money buying Walmart drill bits to put against the Cobalt. Well, man, or the regular hyper I can, tell you, <laughs> I can like. tell you from experience that before I started a tool truck and was doing home repairs, I went through a crap load of drill bits from Walmart. Yeah. Because it was so easy to go up there and buy the Black & Decker drill bits, or then they, had, they come out with these... Black and Decker titanium drill bits. Went through so many of those things. I can tell you, those are way better. Definitely. Um, I feel like so many people have got their sights, and you see it on the video. It doesn't matter if we're talking about curing child cancer or we're talking about this tool. They're gonna do a thumbs down on the video. It doesn't matter. I feel like so many people's got their sights so straight on one brand yeah. that they don't care what it is. They suck, you know, and that's not the way they're. So many people have come around to like the Maco brand that, you know, it's happening. But then you've got those some people that's just going to comment something weird like that. Hey, you know? the way I look at it, man, if you're that dumb to choose a lesser quality because of the name brand, go on and waste your money. Yeah, you know, I mean, Who cares? Yeah. At the end of the day, it don't affect your paycheck or mine. <laughs> that's so, the thing. You I don't mean. think it's jealousy, do you, that their wives won't let them spend money on the Maco or something? 
Man, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I don't know. Just listen to some of the comments. I may have struck an earlier. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. Not, not most, most, about. Here's the way I look at it, though. You know, like, fortunately, my wife, her daddy was a mechanic. Yeah. You know, so she kind of, the turning point with her was when, when we first got our trucking company, she would help me work on some of the trucks, you know, yeah. or she would be there while we was working on it. And she's seen a lot of lesser quality. When I say lesser quality, I'm not talking about Harbor Freight stuff or Walmart stuff. I'm talking about like Craftsman, you know, yeah. a decent line of tools for a, a regular guy. She would see those wrenches and sockets get destroyed. Yeah. You know, and then when she's seen that the tool truck brands and the, the better quality tools was lasting, yeah. she's like, okay, I don't have to drive to Tupelo. <laughs> I don't have to spend an hour driving down there, swapping this tool out, and then 45 minutes driving back. I think so. That's when she realized the value. Of yeah. So I think a lot of that that Bill is talking about, as far as not or jealousy or or, or wife prohibiting it, I think a lot of it's just them not understanding. Yeah. Because I'll be honest, when I first started buying tools, she did not understand. She's like, "Why are you? What? What? You're employed through them. Why are you buying it?" And it. Once, once I went commission, she completely understood. Hey, look, if I can do this job in an hour with this tool, paid two and a half. Yeah, and then with this tool, it takes me four hours. Just pay for itself. So I've never had any problems. You know, we had a guy on here yesterday talking about don't print me a receipt. You know, it's it's just like don't print me a receipt. He don't want his wife to see it. Don't don't print. He was gonna buy her a t-shirt and decided not to because he didn't want her to know that he was on a tool truck. That just to me, I mean. His whole paycheck relies on him working on a truck. Like that tool is what's paying you to work on that truck. You know, it, I don't know if it's them not being explained well or. Well, this is the way I look at it. If I go into the hospital and I say, "Hey, dude, you're gonna have to have, I don't know, kidney stone surgery," I want to make sure that doctor has got a good quality That's scalpel. Right. It's good and sharp, That's and his right. sewing needles and all that junk is up to par. Like, I don't want him going, hey, run over at Harbor Freight, pick us up one of them razor knives. You know? Yeah, that reminds me of uh, <laughs> I want him to have what he needs, you yeah, know, and that, I want it to be the, the best tools that Well, not only that, but, got. I mean, and this doesn't go for everybody, but if you go to a shop and, and just take a step back from it, and you look, you go, you know what, this guy invests in his tools, He's got good name brand tools, whether it be Snap-on, mac -O, whatever it be. He's got good name brand tools. He's willing to spend the money on the tools. So either A, he's rich and just had the money to blow, or B, he's pretty good because he's able to pay for all those and keep them here. You know, and he's investing in his business. Or you take it to somewhere that's working out of a, a bucket that's got, you know, Stanley. Well, he's not he's not really taking it that serious. I mean, yeah, it's okay to have a few. I, any punch that I ever, or not punch, but any uh, extension I ever had to beat on, yeah, it was a Stanley or something like that. Yeah, that's but, I mean, man, I'm, not, I'm not whacking on my yeah. Matco or Snap-on. Like, yeah. you know, them Harbor Freight ones, man, they work great for that. Yeah, I mean, I had some Craftsman screwdrivers, flatheads, or pry bars, whatever you want to call them, that I used to spread brake pads all the time. Yeah. And they broke all the time. But you know what? It was a Craftsman. I didn't care. But, you know, to each their own. Some want to spend the money on tool trucks, some don't. That's up to them. I'll be here if you do, but... You know, right. definitely don't don't hate me because I'm buying tool truck tools. Exactly. And that's, what, that's what gets on my nerves when somebody posts something that you know, well you can buy it cheaper at Harbor Freight. Well, okay, go to Harbor. Well, Freight. here's the way I look at it, All right. and I may look at things totally different than the general public, but the same guys that want to hate on Matco ratchets or Snap-on ratchets or whatever, if you had a Matco ratchet. A snap-on ratchet and a Harbor Freight ratchet here, all of them was the same price. How many of them Harbor Freight ratchets do you think those same guys would still choose? Yeah, right. You know, don't be hating because we like what we like. You know, hey, if you like Harbor Freight, go buy it. You know, yeah, if you I, think Stanley ratchets are the best ratchets in the world, go buy it. No that's big right. deal. Go Just buy it. off my teeth. But you know, thing about it is, when it breaks, you can sit that Stanley there; it's not going to get fixed. <laughs> Nobody's gonna come to the shop and fix that Stanley. You know, then I hear everybody talking about, oh, well, you can buy 12 of them Stanley ratchets for one of them. Why don't I want to go back and buy 12? Yeah. 
if it's a good one, you should only have to buy it once. That's right. You know, <laughs> unless you lose it like I did. I lost two ratchets in one day, but yeah, I got me two new ones off. But you need to get him some of those tag or tiles. You know those little tiles. Put on his ratchets and he find them. I don't know where those ratchets went. Like we have cameras at the house, and I saw my I saw myself take the tools off the truck I was working on and onto the tool truck and. Well, I'll tell you what was cool. I seen a, I did a Mac flyer yesterday, and they've got a light that if you lose it, you can mash a button, and it will tell you where your light is. Well, that's pretty hmm. cool. That's kind of like the, so, the Milwaukee. They got the Bluetooth yeah. tracking or whatever. That's that one key cool. or whatever. Yeah, that one key. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I've, and I've saw some outside companies make like uh, stuff to put on the tools and, mm -hmm. and it's trackers and stuff. But now there's been times I've left tools in cars and know the car and call the customer back. No, they're not in here. Well, I've got a couple of lights. I still don't know where they're at. <laughs> so. All right, so one of the things I picked up today on a Matco truck, I actually remembered it before I got off, is I needed some adapters to go in the service truck. So I got a half to three-eighths and a three-eighths to half. So that's what we got today on the Mecca truck. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to get off here. Like always, check the links down in the description. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there. You guys have a great week. We will catch y'all next time. See ya.